we are standing at the base of Culp's Hill, uh, actually very near the area where the fighting on Culp's Hill ended on the morning of July 3rd. But engaged in that battle is the 147th Regiment, which is my favorite regiment of all time because they're, they're from the area where uh, Company G is from the area that I'm from in central Pennsylvania. So the 147th men are going to fight here. They're going to go home and they're going to they're going to regroup every year on the anniversary of when they left their hometown for war, which happened to be September 12th uh, in 1862. So after the war is over and they're, they're meeting monthly, talking about the war and talking about things and helping each other, they were very supportive with one another. They got to talking about coming back to Gettysburg to visit, which they did periodically. And they became aware that Massachusetts had put up a monument near here, the very first regimental monument ever placed on the battlefield. That was 1879. And then a few uh, other markers had already been here, little markers marking death sites of various commanders. So the Pennsylvania German boys of Snyder County, Pennsylvania, decided they were gonna put up a marker for their future generations to talk about where they stood in the Battle of Gettysburg on the morning of July 3rd. This tiny little marble marker was erected by them in 1882. This is well before the mass movement to monument this battlefield. In fact, it was so interesting, they talk about how a lot of the other veterans that they would run into would say, how do you know this is where you stood? And they very quickly explained two things. One, there was a rocky ledge behind their area on the field where a dog that a lot of men commented on, a yellow dog that came onto the battlefield, it would run between the lines. And often when a shell would burst or, or when gunfire would frighten the dog, he would run into the rocky crevices behind their position on the field. And the other thing they talked about was a very peculiar shaped tree that stood here. So uh, the tree went up and had a big kink in it and went up even further. And a lot of times when they would come back here, their youngsters that they brought back to the battlefield during reunions would climb up in that tree and sit in it while their, their fathers were here chatting about the battle. So that for them identified the spot where they stood. After all that teasing they took from the veterans, a few years in the future, 1885, the whole regiment paid for a monument to be placed at Gettysburg, and they stuck it right here on the spot identified by the men of Company G. So this monument, a rather small star, it's about three feet in size, was placed on this monument right here. 